What do you hope to hear from China uh, uh, this week that you haven't, uh, specifically in terms of its own goals? What I would like to hear from China, if possible, when are they going to peak out? So when are they going to reach the top of their emissions? Uh, President Xi Jinping has said before 2030. Well, before 2030 can be 2029, which would mean a lot of trouble for the world to reach uh, uh, net zero by the middle of the century. But it could also be 2025. If it is 2025, which I believe and the International Energy Agency believes is better for China than, than 2029, 2030, if they set a goal like 2025, then our goals to reach um, uh, 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 neutrality by the middle of the century become far more realistic. So the choices made in China are of extreme importance uh, for our uh, collective effort. And uh, I have to remind you that China was part of the Paris Agreement. Without China, we probably wouldn't have had a Paris Agreement. So they have also a historic responsibility, I believe, to make sure that uh, the Paris Agreement is kept alive. Could you also explain in, in slightly greater detail why the India announcement is important this week? Well, because India is a is a well, in, India is a nation that's going to continue to grow in its population, but also in its economy. Now, if they can, this growth will need more energy, uh, and the projections were that much of that energy would come from fossil fuels. Now, if they increase their renewable energy with five hundred gigawatts. Uh, between now and 2030. This means that they will let, need much less fossil fuels than pr projected before, which means that there will be a lot less emissions coming out of India uh, than projected before. And that's a huge contribution, positive contribution to our global efforts.